I just can't wait to dive in here. Here goes, listen to this. Look at that pillow, Enos. Mm. There's no better way of cooking pizza than in a wood-fired oven. My dad actually built one in his garden and one day I plan on building one with him at my new house. But when I was researching how to build one, I saw a video pop up by one of my favourite YouTube channels, Cuore di Chocolato, run by Andrea, who actually makes incredible homemade wine and beer. He also has a video on building a pizza oven in just five minutes using a plant pot. I'll pop a link to Andrea's video below this video and as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to give it a go myself. So I visited the garden centre to pick up a suitable large pot. Andrea propped up his pot then placed a metal grill inside for a ceramic tile to sit on where the pizza will eventually go. I then placed some wood underneath the tile to be lit. Let's see if I can make a beautiful pizza in it. So when Andrea on his channel built the plant pot pizza oven, he made classic Italian pizzas, of course he's Italian, they looked unbelievable. I could have done something similar but vegan, but I have done pizzas on my YouTube channel quite a few times before actually, so I decided today I'm actually going to do something different. Often I make these Indian inspired or Indian fusion pizzas that taste unbelievable, so I'm going to show you how to make those today. We are going to be making a turmeric spiced dough that's yellow in colour. My dough recipe is beautiful, it gets lovely and fluffy but crisp on the outside when it's cooked. But before I even make the pizza, I'm actually going to try and use this uh, wood-fired flower pot pizza oven as a tandoor. Tandoor is an Indian clay wood-fired oven that they cook uh, meat in, bread in quite often too. This isn't anything like it, don't get me wrong, but hopefully um, we're going to get some of the same notes of flavour because I'm going to be marinating some jackfruit. We're going to get it really, really meaty before, then marinate it and then cook it in this oven and then top the pizza with it after. So basically an Indian fusion pizza topped with meaty tandoor jackfruit. Hopefully it tastes good and hopefully the oven works. Let's light the fire. Oh shit, what was that? Oh my god, you're right. Uh, nothing got me. What's that? Everyone stand back, okay? It's not the plant pot, that's been in a clay furnace. Ah, uh, it's the plant pot. What? The plant pot's cracked. No way. Just don't go too close. So we have just noticed that our clay pot has cracked a little bit. The heat. <laughs> shit, bruv. All right guys, as I said at the start, I'd never done this before. I wanted to try it for you live for the first time and unfortunately our plant pot has cracked and I don't think it's safe to continue with it, especially when we're putting pizzas in and out. I guess Andrea probably had a thicker walled um, plant pot, um, but it's surprising to me really because obviously these clay pots have been in a kiln or something to actually set them originally so it's surprising that they're not taking the heat maybe if you know as to why it cracked on me comment below but i do have a backup i have my uh, portable pizza oven i just wanted to show you this today to hopefully see if you could do it at home but yeah maybe i need to do a little bit more research first uh, and get a thicker plant pot so i'm gonna go and get my <laughs> portable pizza oven and still continue with this recipe because it's that good damn we tried. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Call me Fireman Sam. <laughs> Let's go and get my uh, portable pizza oven. What a day, honestly. We've got our pizza oven now. We're going to use this. <laughs> Maybe I should have used this all along, but at least we tried it, okay? That's the main thing. 
I'm now going to marinate my jackfruit and you ideally want to do this for at least two hours. I'm going to speed through and get this cooking right away. So what you need to do first, you may have seen me do this in previous jackfruit recipe videos, but in order to get meaty jackfruit, you need to squeeze out the water. So I'm going to drain this off, squeeze the water out using some cheesecloth. You can just use a clean tea towel and then I'll get this jackfruit into some vegan yogurt with an array of spices and some garlic. That's what I love about cooking outside, giving back to the earth. So into this pot with my jackfruit and yogurt, I'm going to add some spices. First thing, ground turmeric, then some garam masala, which is a beautiful Indian spice blend, then some chili powder, some minced garlic, zest of a lemon, and the juice of half a lemon too. So give this a good old mix up, make sure all the spices are coated throughout. I use quite a bit of garlic in this because it just means flavour. The lemon helps bring out flavour and also the salt too. It's going to be amazing. Make sure you marinate this for at least two hours. And jackfruit, if you've never cooked with it before, I hope you have. It's an incredible tropical fruit, surprisingly meaty and often used as like a pulled pork substitute. Um, to be honest with you, I often use it like this and it replicates chicken because it's so meaty. So there's that marinade in now. So you want to pop a lid on or cover over your bowl and keep it in the fridge for uh, two hours at least. And now I'm going to make my bread dough. So before I make my spiced bread dough, please can you subscribe to the channel. We need to keep growing and some of the ideas that me and the crew have got for you are mind blowing. So please subscribe and help the channel continue to grow. Into my mixing bowl, I have some uh, bread flour. I've got actually a seeded variety here. So the seeds running through this, but you can use any bread flour of your choice into the mixing bowl. And of course, to help this uh, dough rise, I'm going to add some fast active dried yeast to the bowl and a selection of spices. Of course, this is a spice dough. First up, we're going to add some ground turmeric. It adds the most incredible yellow colour and also is so good for us. So I try and get it into as many dishes that I eat as possible. To the dough, I'm also going to be adding some ground cumin, some ground coriander, some black onion seeds, aka nigella seeds, some ground fenugreek and some chilli powder. and a good pinch of salt into there, touch of olive oil and some lukewarm water to help activate that yeast. Now, usually I'd be using my bread mixer, but because we're outside, doing it by hand and it's really simple. Just bring it together with a spoon or a fork first and then use your hands to form it into a dough and knead it for about four to five minutes. And I love how the turmeric sort of activates over time and it gets yellower and yellower. It's beautiful. So you want your dough to be on the wet side. Don't add too much flour when you're kneading because the drier the dough, the more firm and brittle and sort of chewy your bread's going to be. I want it to be light and fluffy and delicate. So the wetter the better really, as long as you can still handle it. And now after a few minutes of kneading, into my wetter the better, I love that. Into my mixing bowl, I'm just going to lightly oil it and then put the dough in. So just place a kitchen towel or some cling film over your bowl and let it double in size somewhere warm for about an hour and a half. But keep an eye on it, as long as it's double in size, it's warm in our summertime, it will rise quite fast. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to cook the jackfruit that I marinated and hopefully we still get a sort of tandoori effect. A bit of charring on it won't hurt, add some great flavour, even though we're using this gas fire now. Sadly, we're not using our pizza, no, our um, plant pot. Ah, sad, isn't it all? It's don't shout, they don't like it anymore. Are you sad? Uh, yeah, I am actually. Same. Oh well. Health and safety ruins everything. 
It's time to cut the jackfruit. I'm just gonna get it onto a lined baking tray, a little bit of oil on the tray, into my pizza oven. If you're using an, just a conventional oven at home, 200 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's lovely and golden. Oh, do you want to see my vegetable patch? Look how proud, I'm so proud of this. First up, we have my runner beans that are climbing up the pole. They love it, they love the pole. These runner beans, can't get enough of it. And over here, this is my pumpkin patch or my squash patch. They're a bit too close to one another, but um, I'll sort that. I'm just thinking one of them may die, so. And then my strawberries, they're just starting to flower now. Got a little bit of salad left that I've been eating for the last few months is the best salad. Oh, it's beautiful and so easy to grow. Got some chard coming up here, some parsnips. Gonna have some cabbages eventually by here. Look, these carrots. Oh, should I see if I can grab you a carrot? This is so exciting for me. Look, my little baby Paris Market carrot. This honestly has been my dream since a kid to be able to grow my own food and cook with it too. So this is amazing. Mm. Can actually eat the tops, but not when they're that high. Personally, I don't like them. And look at this, Cavolo Nero, wow. It's just rocketing up now. I've got some beetroots next to it, some more chard, some more kale, I love kale. And you should see my tomato plants in my greenhouse. I'll show you those another time though. Let's get back to the cooking, shall we? And look at my jackfruit now. Woo! It smells so good. And see what I mean about how the turmeric has just enhanced the colour, just gone so vibrant yellow, it's beautiful. And I haven't taken it too far because obviously this has to go on the pizza eventually. And um, the longer it's, it's going to be in the oven again. So I don't want it to get it too dark. Anyway, I'm going to put it under here for now. And I'm going to roll out my pizza dough. Oh, look at this pizza dough. It's risen up loads now. So I'm just going to lightly flour the surface. I'm actually going to use some semolina here to roll it out. Probably going to make three pizzas here. What you can always do, rather than rising it all as one, you can actually make three individual balls of dough like I've done in the past and rise them separately. But this is more of a simplified version. You can just do it all as one and then cut it into um, three pieces of dough for the pizzas. So this is my favorite part. Look at the color on it as well. So, obviously it wouldn't be pizza without a lovely, rich, tangy tomato sauce. So what I've got here is just my classic pizza tomato sauce recipe that you'll find in the last couple of pizza videos I've done and on my website. But I've just added some spices to it as it was cooking. So I'll put the full written recipe on my website anyway, but generous amounts of this on the pizza, on the dough, sorry. Look at that. So I've decided to actually put some chard on my pizzas rather than kale, just because I usually put spinach on and the sort of texture of a chard leaf is very similar. It'll wilt down and get really nice on the pizza. And I have so much chard. And the stalk of chard is beautiful too. It's got this really sweet flavor and it's so easy to grow. You could just do it in a plant pot at home if you wanted to. Here's some chard, fresh from the supermarket, which is my garden. And we'll just put that on there, it will wilt down. And also follow me here a second. This is my greenhouse. And look at this coriander that I grew from seed. And I got inspired and got tips from a YouTuber called My Family Garden. This gardener up in the north of England. He's got the most amazing knowledge and he taught me how to grow my own coriander. So this is a very small, baby coriander at the moment, but it's going to work great on this. And the smell and the taste of homegrown coriander is like coriander on steroids, honestly. 
is unbelievable. Look at these lovely meaty pieces. Looks like chicken, doesn't it? Finally, some cherry tomatoes, which I just halved. I'm hoping soon I'll be able to cook with my own tomatoes because I have so many plants. So now all we need is a drizzle of olive oil. Just get everything to nicely caramelize. A pinch of salt because we season at every stage when we're cooking to make sure that all of the flavors are being lifted. And some black onion seeds just to finish off. And now it's got to go in the oven. And off she comes beautifully. Now is the exciting time, watching this baby rise up in the oven. I am gonna have to spin it around a few times because there's a heat spot in this oven. So hopefully this turns out good. So if you keep your cameras on it, because it will rise in front of your eyes. Boom, that was a bar. It will rise in front of your eyes when I'm eating up the pizza and make you feel like you're in, in disguise. Don't know why you'd be in disguise. Look at that. Look at that. That's unbelievable. A few more minutes. This is the best pizza I've ever made in this oven. Honestly, wait till you see this. Let's get it out. Oh, yes. Look at the dough. Look at the fluffiness and the crispness. Let's get it on here. And now I've got to top it with some mint yogurt dip that I pre-made and you can get the recipe off my website too. It's totally optional. And a bit of lemon. I think that'll be it. I just can't wait to dive in here. Here goes, listen to this. Look at the dough, look at that, look at that. The yellow inside, I'm gonna cut this up. I'm so, I gotta eat this. Look at that guys, come on. This is making up for the, the letdown of the clay um, flower pot oven. <sighs> Look at that pillow, Enos. That is unbelievable. Boys, you've got to taste this. It's been a really hot day and I'm sorry for letting you down about with the, uh, the other oven. Are you okay? It was hot. Oh, the oven's oh, hot. The oven's yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, oh, here's one for you. Right, thank you very Be much. Be careful of the knife. Yeah. Thank you. And Good Tom, I think I'm going to give the other, the next one we do a little bit longer in the oven, but still, I'm just, I'm really happy with this. Enjoy. Mm. Oh, wow. wow. It's so delicious. Good. Delicious. Yeah. The Indian flavours just work. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So pungent. Oh. I just think the tomato sauce is so tangy with the spices and yeah. mm. jackfruit on top is meaty. When you said it was spicy, I was worried it was going to be too spicy, but it's like with the tomato it's just perfect. right. It's always a bit difficult cooking in an oven like this because a few seconds too long, it may burn. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. As Andrea from Cuore di Chocolata channel, hope I pronounced that right, would say spectacular. Check out his videos and you'll understand what I mean by that reference. This tastes unbelievable. Please comment on this video. Let me know where I went wrong. Maybe Andrea can let me know where I went wrong with the cracked um, flower pot pizza oven. I won't be trying that again unless I get some real good tips. Don't forget my fork. Oh my gosh, it's crashed on us, but don't forget, 
my new cookbook, well my latest cookbook, Plants Only Kitchen. Signed copies can be bought from my uh, website. My mum actually sends them out all around the world, so please support us. Subscribe to the channel and my dad's just launched a, uh, a YouTube channel where he's going to be sharing some of his recipes, so subscribe to that too, Doug's Kitchen. I'm going to enjoy this. See you soon guys. Mmm.